We just saw Justice League. Let's drink about that. Full on spoilers. There will be spoilers. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're not going to hold back. I'm drinking Jubileo. You're drinking Voodoo Ranger the Voodoo Imperial Ranger. IPA. And I'm drinking the little brother of that one, just the Voodoo Ranger IPA. Broom Comics, we're together. There we go. I don't know. It, it's crazy to me. I'm looking up a few facts. Lowest opening weekend for a DC movie ever. That means this lost to fucking Suicide Squad, which was a piece of shit. And if you liked Ugh. it, you have bad taste in comic book movies and movies in general. Um, yeah, but at the same time, the DC Extended Universe, the movies haven't really been hitting out the ballpark. With True. I mean, True. We, we love a All good portion of comics. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so that helps, but... Uh, a little biased over here, but yeah. <laughs> the, the critics definitely got it wrong on this one. I don't yeah. know why it has such a low Rotten Tomatoes score. Uh, get out and watch the movie. It was good. I, I, I enjoyed Can it. Can we give a big, like, fuck you to the critics? Like, just... Oh, absolutely. Just a Fuck you, critics. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, why? Well, it's just like they decided to shit on it just because it was DCEU without really giving it a chance. Were there things about the movie then that you guys didn't like? Like anything that irked you or anything like that? I, I sort of wanted a longer run time. I wanted more of it. I felt like they cut out a lot of scenes. Um, I felt like some of the scenes, like there was a little editing wise. I don't know if you guys felt that way, but it felt like there could have been more to it. Uh, maybe it's just me wanting more, but I think for me, um, yeah, I just wanted more as a whole. Yeah. You thought the story could have progressed better? Yeah, there could have been more um, segues a little bit, a little smoother transition. Some uh, pieces could have been mm -hmm. put in that would yeah. help explain a little bit more. Sure. Um, if we didn't already know like how it worked out in the comics and stuff like that, I think. For the person who didn't know anything about comics, it would be difficult for them to sort of put a couple of things together. Oh, for but... sure. If you walk into this movie without seeing anything before, you're going to be just so lost. Um, the, the only thing that I think I had a real issue with was Henry Cavill's upper lip sometimes. That whole CGI'd off mustache. If you guys don't know what that's about, I'm not going to get into it. Look it up. But man, it was like distractingly weird because a lot of times it was like he was talking, but his lower, his upper lip wasn't moving like this, and it was just the strangest thing that I just, I just couldn't get past. It. But he's the most <laughs> handsome man in the he's world. Still, I mean, I still hit it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, and I, I liked his jump from as Superman in general, character-wise, from the last few movies we've seen to this. I think he really did a good job. He is our beacon of hope. Uh, yeah. He, he, yeah. and he's starting to show that characters in general. I did, but man, that, that. Fucking CGI now, mustache just like mustache cake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> God, it was weird. Um, I, thought, I thought Superman was really lighthearted though in this. Like after oh, coming back from the dead, he's like not already been dead. Like you know, like, 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 I, I really enjoyed his persona in this one. It was a lot lighter versus uh, Man of Steel and not uh, Donna Justice. I thought I really enjoyed. For being a zombie, he was very lighthearted. He was. Yeah. 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 I liked uh, when they brought him back from the dead. How. Uh, Barry just kept being like, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> no one knew where he was going to be. Yeah, no, yeah. And for I a know, moment he was. Yeah, he was straight up wanting to kill everybody. It's... By the way, we saw a Green Lantern, a Green Lantern. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, dude I almost dude. nerded out on that. Okay. Shit so, myself? Yeah, losing yeah. it. <laughs> Oh my great. god, that was that, that was hard uh, not to squeal. Let's just go down characters here. What do you guys think of Aquaman? Loved him. Loved everything about him. Jason Momoa. Talk, did there, this movie has so much good looking in it. I thought he was. I thought he was great. I uh, wanted more. I want more. <laughs> more Momoa. Yeah. Hashtag more Momoa. Hashtag more Momoa. More Momoa. <laughs> more Momoa. <laughs> I don't know, Paul. You're you're rubbing your thighs like this is my disagree rub. I don't know. I love him as Aquaman. I don't know where the whole bro aspect came from because to me, Aquaman in this movie is just a big bra. You know, <laughs> he, he 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 was super bro. Bit of a bro. And when he just starts to lay it all out, sort of thing, like I never really connected on land or and he said he got Diana's lasso. That, that gave me a good chuckle. Yeah. And again, it's one of those things where I wonder who put that scene in the movie. Mm -hmm. Whedon. Whedon. That was yeah. a Whedon scene for sure, but it was it was really good. I loved it when 
he was just in the air fighting all the parademons. Oh. And then Cyborg was like, gotcha, bro. And he was like, thanks, bro. Oh, Here you go, bro. <laughs> go fight some more. Yeah. Uh, Cyborg? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, love Cyborg. I thought they did a pretty good job with him as a whole. Um, I just, he seemed like, he played, a, he did a good job of playing sort of book. I'm machine, I'm man, I don't know what I am. Yeah, he, he is his creation now that his father had made him to be. Mm -hmm. He's still alive, but he's just sort of like, the fuck I'm going to do? Like, I like the subtle morality that, and it wasn't like, because it was never him like trying to take a high road or high ground anybody or anything, but you could tell like within his court, he didn't want to be part of like chaos and destruction. Like he wanted to do his best to be a good mm -hmm. person. I think it's really cool in what gave him power over some of the mother box which would corrupt most mm -hmm. he also kept wearing his his uh, his sweats so we found we found out who he was they found out who he was to the characters in the movie mm -hmm. and then like they get back to like wherever they were talking to and he's like put my sweats back on you know <laughs> so, i feel more comfortable this way right well yeah. and he showed that yeah and exactly that to his point i think it's he feels more comfortable that way and he doesn't want to make other people uncomfortable around him i kept thinking <laughs> he had to put clothes on because he's naked because he's naked <laughs> yeah. yeah he's got yeah. that big old still dick just swinging about <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen. There's not a still dick. Now, think, well, um, we're talking about generals. What about Wonder Woman? Because for, for like all of us, like we kept, we kept thinking, like we just kept they kept showcasing her butt cheeks. A oh, lot of Wonder Woman <laughs> butt cheeks. Not mad at, at all. Yeah. Uh, gal, Gado, Gadok, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it. Gigi, yeah. Gigi's great. She genuinely is great mm -hmm. at Wonder Woman. I think she might be my favorite cast character of all of them. Well, you guys have seen the bank. When the uh, the main boss villain from that scene is he's about to shoot up the entire crowd. Mm. Diane just comes in, she's like, "Not yeah. today." Yeah. Dude, just fucking was, popping and it, locking. It, it <laughs> was a submachine gun. I love the scene where uh, Bruce calls her out on Trevor. Like, you're powerful. You bring out the best in people. How come I just found out who you is? And we're looking for Superman when you should be Superman now. You want ballsy some bitch talking to her like you that. You truly have no fear. <laughs> You're about to get your dick handed to him. What he's thinking is like, is he bigger than me? I saw a lot of things going into this that was like Ezra Miller's Flash as the breakout character. Yeah. He's fine. I thought he was plucky. I thought he was fun. I thought he brought a lot of heart to the whole thing. And just sort of like that audience member, like getting into this for the first time. It's like, listen, I just push people around and run. Like, that's all I do. That, like, that <laughs> was pretty cool. And I liked the bit where he said most people are slow. Because that awkward humor worked well. But not the breakout character people are saying he is, in my humble opinion. Uh, he does race Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cool. I, I I wanted more from B.A. I I wanted him, I knew he didn't really have full comprehension of his powers. Mm -hmm. You know, he just said that he, he had just found the Speed Force mm -hmm. and he calls it the Speed Force. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I just wanted him to throw lightning. <laughs> right? Uh, a few things I did really like with him. One, when he was, they were digging up soups and uh, he keeps trying to, you know, give a, trying to fist. Cyborg. Uh, yeah. He, he mm -hmm. just wants to be fist in his bro. He does. You know? He does. Um, and he wouldn't keep doing it, but then they, he referred to them as like, oh, so we're the accidents, huh? Like, just, just the way he said that, and they kind of went, yeah, and it was that cool connection moment mm -hmm. between the two. I dug that a lot. Um, I don't know why people hate Batflex so much. People was, are stupid. They people are, are stupid. Like, I think it's they just get on this giant hate train, um, and they want to sit there and just be, be able to, I don't know, put something angry on Facebook or Twitter, like, oh, fuck you, Bat, like, you mm -hmm. suck. He's fine. He's good. He's a, he's good. He's good. He's great. He was real good <laughs> yeah. in this. He plays a I great think Batman, if you yeah. didn't like how murder he was and you didn't think he imbued Batman and Batman v Superman, I think this should be an opinion changer on that. That's true. I agree. Yeah. Uh, motherfucker has no powers. It is stated by Aquaman in the mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no powers. What are you even doing? <laughs> you know, like... And there are times when you see Batman get his ass kicked, and that's really cool to see mm -hmm. too. It, it was even the pair. Some of the parademons put up damn good fights, oh, but all these parademons were former elite warriors and stuff. So yeah, they're gonna pull through that. But I, I, it was great. How do you guys feel about the CG like? specificity like did they do a good job with the cg i think it was better i don't think i don't the, the only thing that really bugged me was some of the stuff with the upper lip the cgi for steppenwolf i actually thought was 
pretty superb. Yeah, pretty it wasn't good. Ares and Wonder Woman. Way, be <laughs> way better than Ares and Wonder Woman. I also liked that they made him quite clear a threat, but it, it a very, like a defeatable threat sort of thing. And he okay. wanted to be the new god. The new gods. The new god. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool to see what they're going to do with that. Um, but I thought he was a real good warm up for um, Dark Side. Dark Side. Yeah, absolutely. Which is obviously going to be the real baddie with mm -hmm. these guys. Uh, but I, I thought it was a good warm up. And another great tease was Deathstroke. Very minimal the end scene, yeah. but he looks, Joe Mangianelli looked plucked out of the comic books. Straight out of them. Yeah. His Green armor Lantern. was dope. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the white goatee and hair that they did with them. But mm -hmm. do you guys, I, so I don't know, maybe I'll try to look it up. Could you tell who the Green Lantern was? No, no. no. not for a quick if second. If you guys know, mm -hmm. let us know. That would be awesome. Um, or if you have any theories uh, or whoever it may be. Um, I kind of want to know what you, who, we want to see as the next Green Lantern. Yeah, one of my favorite side characters. Not to like take it away, but um, they're, they're running in Themyscira, and then Steppenwolf is there getting the Mother Box, and all the Amazonians are just like, no, he can't do it. And they're running away with him. They have the, the box what with them. The girl scene. who like what throws scene. or like she attaches like the Mother Box like mm -hmm. a rope and like shoots mm -hmm. the arrow or like, gets to her friend or whatever. Yeah, that girl was stupid hot. Sarah, like I kept yeah. thinking like, oh my god, who is this girl? Some of, those, <laughs> some of those women, if you're a man, will make you feel. Emasculated. I don't they give a fuck how strong it is. Gonna hold me all night. Uh, but in general, that that whole scene though it was dope. It was so great. That was really great. Really just showcased the warrior and just the, the power way they work together. Like them. they clearly oh. had a plan in action for this, even though it may not have gone quite the way they hoped. But they, they, they put they up did one hell of a fight. So. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite oh. scenes is when they just brought Superman back and everyone was holding him back, like trying to fight him. You have Aquaman on one arm. You have Diana on another mm -hmm. end. You have Cyborg fight him, and then you see the Flash run in, and he gets very taken by the fact that That's super Cl yeah, Clark can see him, and he's just like, and he's just slowly bombing. He's like, "What are you do?" Like he's tracking him, and he's like, you "No one can see me." Yeah, and he just slowly <laughs> turns around, and they're fighting in like slow motion, fast motion. It's just, I thought it, it was, was really very cool, um, and I thought it was a cool way that they led up to. Like I, I really liked already that Superman versus Flash rivalry just mm -hmm. right there, just yeah. immediately yeah. lit it up. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see it when they're in that Russian city, let's call it Chernobyl. Chernobyl. I can't remember what the it's name what of it, it, it is. It <laughs> when Superman catches up with him and he's like slow poke and Flash <laughs> is like, okay then. All right. Um, yeah. And then of course that, that setup race at the end, loved it. Every aspect oh, of yeah. that. They damn. wove that well. They wove it well. I love, especially when Barry's running. I really hope this is East. <laughs> uh, he's so smart, but so dumb. That bit. So I don't know. Maybe I did like Ezra. I don't know. Changing his mind. <laughs> Waffling already. <laughs> but those, I guess those. I'm gonna call those my favorite scenes because it's what I just said. Well, <laughs> the fact that Clark comes in, right? And he's looking at Barry as he's running, he's flying, and he's like, slow poke. He's like, did we all just become best friends? <laughs> yeah, we got best friends. <laughs> and then when uh, Clark and uh, Ray, Cyborg, are with the mother boxes at the very end trying to save the day, and they have to pull the boxes apart. Oh, wow. To yeah. uh, essentially stop the invasion? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Desync the mother boxes, because when they sync up in the story, it basically is a world ender, and it'll just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah terraform the whole earth. So he has yeah. to desync the boxes, and when they pull it away, I think is that what you're referring yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. It just creates a shockwave that pushes. He's gonna kill us. I think we'll just take it. <laughs> great lighthearted scene. Yeah. That was great. I'm totally yeah. Man, the more I look back on this movie, it's great. The way it terraformed oh, the earth. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like in Stranger Things when like the veins and the oh, eyes and shit, you know, yeah. came through. Except yeah. like times yeah. a billion. Yeah. <laughs> Way more destructive than everybody. Dark can see side. It. Well, the uh, um, where is he from? Dark side. I can't remember. Apocalypse. The word now. Apocalypse yeah. is the upside down. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Essentially, yeah. With pair of demons. <laughs> you know, I think that's about it, really. Good. I know you guys don't like Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, you see him for like two seconds. Don't worry about it. Um, not hateable in that moment. So no. Except it. What I hated does the that. Jesse say? Ring ding 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 ding. <laughs> ring ding 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 ding. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Yeah. Until next time, I'm Jerry. I'm Paula. I'm Vic.
Are you still watching? I think we're still it. watching. <laughs> Weird. Fucking turn it off. Go do something with your life. Get out Ooh, of here. Maybe trick my Facebook. Yeah. <laughs>